The ideal MUX multiplexes a user-defined number of input WDM signal channels. This model is equivalent to an ideal adder since there is no power splitting and filtering. In this example, we will use an electrical pulse as our data signal and a CW laser as our carrier signal, and we will be modulating them together. Using the ideal MUX, we will multiplex the two modulated signals together, and we will view the signals in the optical spectrum analyzer and the WDM analyzer. Running our current setup with the ideal MUX having its default values, we can check the WDM analyzer and optical spectrum analyzer and see that there are two channels at different frequencies present as we would expect. Double clicking on the ideal MUX block opens up the properties of the block. Changing the value of loss changes the insertion loss of the multiplexer. A higher value of loss will result in the optical signals having lower power. Calculating the project with a loss of 5 dB causes the signal power to decrease, as we can see in the WDM analyzer. Clicking back on the ideal MUX, we can also change the number of input ports. Changing it to 3 will add another input port. We can connect that multiplexer port to another modulator so that we will now be multiplexing three signals together. We will also make sure to change the frequencies of our third CW laser so that it does not interfere with the other CW laser. Now when we calculate the program and check the visualizer, we can now see that three signals are present. 